close to the speed of light is a kind of elixir of life. Because time slows down close to the speed of light, special relativity provides us with a means of going to the stars. Welcome back, everybody, to Llamascapes. It is day 13 of the account, and we are here picking up the first piece of the blacksmith's outfit. Uh, in fact, there are six pieces to get, by the way, so 300% total respect. Not just five, because the last one is an add-on for the headgear, but there is the apron done. And now we're going to finish up these rune burial sets that I had made previously, because we have a bunch of bonus XP from finishing the last of Doric's tasks. And we're starting off strong with quest completion again. Missing my mummy. Done. 7k HP. There we go. And there's completion of Legacy of Seer Gaze for some levels. Yeah. And then this book, which I just use on Herblore three times. Yeah, because there's, there's no real other option. And as I'm gearing up for the next quest, I thought it'd be a fun time to go ahead and pop these caskets I've been getting from the Penguin Agents. So there's three easies and a medium. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's re-roll that. You know, what? I'll take I'll take the bonus XP star though. Uh, okay, another Bob shirt, aka another fortunate component. I'll take it. And then um, <clears throat> we won't talk about that one. And a medium. Lumberyard teleports. Okay, that, that might be handy. Another quest down. The Chosen Commander for large chunks of XP. There's two agility and two strength levels. And now I know why I included this so much higher in the guide that would have saved me a good chunk of grinding thieving at those doors. Uh, it was about 20,000 XP, but it's fine. One of the fastest quests in the game complete. All fired up for a fire-making level. Inacra's Lament complete. I uh, accidentally skipped the quest text because I didn't expect it to pop up there, but there is Horror from the Deep complete for, uh, yeah, range level. All right, I have been spending a few hours somewhat efficiently preparing for a few grinds I got coming up. So there are 200 strong fishing urns, 100 strong wood cutting, and 100 strong cooking urns. These are for a few different grinds that I have uh, coming up. Specifically, getting fishing to 71, uh, which puts it one level off of the, I believe, final crust quest requirement for fishing. Uh, this is to get wood cutting to 76, ideally. And this is to get uh, cooking at least above level 70. Another easy quest point acquired. There's impressing the locals done. Unlocks the arc, but I won't be going there for a while. So I'm in the middle of a quest, right? But I just completed my daily combat challenge by a character that's not me killing something for no XP. What? <laughs> how? How odd. And there is the completion of the quest. Quiet before the swarm. Done. Well, that quest boss was a lot easier than the first time I fought it, but there is Heart of Stone complete for 200 quest points, which is a pretty nice milestone on the account. Also, Magic Lamp, Rune Crafting Lamp, and I believe I'm supposed to use these on Summoning, because that, that just kind of makes sense at this point. There we go. And 200 quest points actually gives me a pretty useful unlock here. If I open the shop, I can unlock the Lorehound Pet and the quest supplies provided by the Lorehound Pet. And that ultimately means that I'll be able to get the bullseye lanterns I need for Tears of Guthix just from the pet for free. Uh, also, if I talk to May, I should be able to get my rewards. Yes, so let's claim my magical dice. Let's pop these open. And neither of these are fortunate components, unfortunately. And there's another of the fastest quests in the game, complete Tears of Guthix. And there's my first week of Tears of Gothic done. I could have rushed to do this faster, but I don't think it's going to make a huge difference in the end. Uh, but in any case, that is 38 summoning. A fair bit of the way towards my next uh, my next summoning goal of 41. 
and something to note about Tears of Gothics is that, of course, it goes into your lowest skill, uh, except for Invention. If Invention is still locked for you, then it, it, it completely ignores the, the fact that it exists. Um, but in most cases, if you were just strictly following my guide, you probably wouldn't have touched Archaeology by this point, which means that all of the XP would go into Archaeology, and not only would it mess with Archaeology scaling a little bit... Um, but I don't think it would have made that big of a difference in the end. Uh, so that's that's kind of why I waited on this um, until I could like guarantee that it went into something a little more useful like summoning or eventually probably construction. And to start day 14, there's completion of the Slug Menace. Kenneth's concerns completed for a nice chunk of agility XP. And there is the Fremnic Trials completed for... A ton of lamps. Oh, man. <laughs> and I just missed it, but I got the total level 1500 milestone, along with fishing level 53. I've decided to start working on fishing because there are a few quests that I want to get done, uh, which require fishing and cooking to be uh, leveled up a little bit. And, you know, it's been a busy day. I haven't been able to play much, but so far from what I've played, it's been pretty efficient. And on to day 15, we have a strong unlock here, the Trapper. 5k beans, been saving up for a while, and uh, yeah, wherever they are, it's time to send them off on their first mission. These red chinchampas are really starting to add up. I think I harvested just about 130 um, just, just today, and up to level 62 farming. It's really flying by. And first quest of day 15 done, Hero's Quest, taken care of for, oh man, the, the whole lamping thing, I'm pretty, is it a setting? I think I heard from someone that it's a setting, but like, I really need to dig in and find it, because just clicking like a thousand lamps over the course of getting quest cape is gonna get really, really sad. Uh, but anyway, there is the total quest reward. A single level, 50 attack, very nice. And completion of Hero's Quest allowed me to charge my Ring of Wealth, which is required to combine it. Uh, and then after this dialogue here, place the Luck Ring on it, and offer Relic. Bam, now I can actually turn this on at some point. There we go. And... Yes, Ring of Wealth, you will always gain the effect of Tier 2 Luck. And that is a big quest completion. Throne of Miscellanea, and we all know it's time to do the sister quest right after it. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but uh, I don't know if Prince Band is going to be much of a bard with a, with a broken wrist. <laughs> sea Snake defeated, Royal Trouble complete for some HP XP, Slayer XP, which is nice, and Agility, also nice. I think I got a level in each of those skills. Uh, and then, oh, that's nice actually, combat level 75 milestone, that means I can go into Slayer again. I've been waiting um, so that I could take my 10th task at Cheldar for extra Slayer points. Uh, and this is how I'm going to set up my kingdom for now. It's going to be set to Teaks. 5 and Maples 10, that's it's pretty standard. I may go to Mahogany's at some point because I do currently plan to do contracts to unlock the Constructor's Outfit, or, or the Master Constructor's Outfit. Um, not sure if I if I will in the end, but I probably will, uh, which means I, I'll, I'll want Mahogany's for uh, those higher tier construction contracts, and this is probably the best way to get those. Also, I've been doing a little bit of research on different uh, fishing training methods later on, and I know that I plan to spend a fair amount of time in Minifos fishing later. I, I tend to prioritize Ports District first, uh, and I realize that's actually really relevant, uh, given that at Tier 8 reputation, 177,000 in Ports, you get a permanent increase to fishing success rate uh, in the district, um, and considering that I'll, you know, I'll be doing easily, you know, 40 or 50 hours here, uh, this is going to be, you know, incredibly beneficial. Um, so this is something that I plan to spend a lot of time working towards uh, over the next few days, you know, few weeks, really. Um, just, just taking my time going for it and, uh, you know, 
Once I'm there, then I'll feel comfortable fishing here. And because I'll be working towards these reputation goals, I think that also means that I should somewhat prioritize the other Minifos quests. Um, these give a passive increase to reputation gain within the city. Um, so not only will they help, you know, eventually go towards the Skull for Fight Club, um, but they'll make a, a pretty significant difference getting towards, you know, our man in the north and then the ports district uh, skilling buff and the, the magic carpet buff that I'd also like to unlock. Um, so Crocodile Tears is available just as soon as I get to 72 fishing, uh, which is something I'm going to keep working towards passively. Um, I do have some more active skilling that I'm going to take care of and some other quests that I want to take care of when I'm actively playing. But if I'm, if I need AFK or, you know, give it a little less attention, feeling a little burnt, then I'll, uh, you know, just work on fishing and, and cooking, you know, alongside it. Oh, and this will be fun. My first time actually working with the trapper gave me, gave me a bull. That's a bunch of, and now I've completed Mage Arena and unlocked my Guthix staff and Guthix cape. Um, something I'm going to do now is actually unlock the spell as well to make sure I can use the uh, special attack. Okay, Divine Storm unlocked, so I have something slightly better to use uh, than my current air blast. Um, at least until I unlock airwave in two levels. Uh, but also, I, I just thought it's good to go ahead and get that out of the way. It takes all five minutes, right? So a lot of the upcoming quests that I have listed before my big grind magic to at least 70 and grind slayer to 67 grind begins, uh, which, you know, leads into uh, getting a dragon hatchet. A lot of those quests aren't super important, so I don't feel like gunning straight for them and knocking them out right now. Um, I probably still will over the next few days. It's just a lot of the XP rewards aren't incredibly, incredibly relevant. Uh, it's mostly just for the quest points. Uh, in a lot of those cases. So something I'm going to grind for first, before I start the Slayer grind though, uh, is the Bone Crusher. Um, ideally the Charming Imp as well, uh, if I can make myself stay around for that long. And then a lot of these other scroll unlocks are really nice. Um, I have a preliminary goal of just 75 for Prif. Uh, ideally 85, because I'll probably end up doing Frost Dragons for Prayer later on. So. We'll see where I end up in there when I eventually get sick of this, or if I just, you know, if I enjoy it, I'm going straight for 85, possibly 95 for Garajo. But I think eventually it does become a little inefficient when you could come back with higher stats, you know, higher combat stats specifically, and grind through Dungeoneering a little bit faster. But yeah, we're going to do a few days of DG. Just got 70 divination from Cash and time to collect from the Trapper again. Well, that's the, uh, the third time I've gotten something from the Trapper, and they've all been sad so far. Or, fourth time. Fourth time. Still sad. Thought I'd just make a clip to end off day 16. I don't actually remember if I made a clip earlier today either, uh, but I've been spending the whole day dungeoneering up to 1577 total, 10.5 million overall XP. So closing in on 1600 total on day 16 feels pretty sick. Uh, but I'm up to 75k tokens, so I thought I'd go ahead and buy the Bone Crusher. Yes, and go ahead and buy the Split Dragon Tooth, which will be quite useful. Uh, oh, 60 prayer. Okay, well, close enough to that. I'll, I'll pick it up soon enough. Uh, and then the last thing to pick up is the Charming Imp. I'm going to work towards various other scrolls as well. That'll cost about another 60k tokens. Uh, but in order to get there, uh, and, and those items in particular, they're not super useful right now not super important so i can hold off on those just a little bit so finish up the charming imp tomorrow split dragon tooth and then we get back to slayer starting off day 17 with a little uh tip for everyone i'm sure everyone knows and loves this boss sagittaire uh well little tip if you combust right here then it will instantly uh die after the teleport here the burn lasts for long enough and bam, then you can just teleport out and do DG crafting like I have been. Yeah, so my crafting level is actually closing in on level 70 now, and I have the, the target set to 75 because 75 plus quest reward should get me to 76. I don't know how efficient this actually is uh, compared to the gym crafting method, but, you know, I think it's fine. I think the rates are actually pretty comparable. The only difference here is that you get slow DG XP as opposed to slow mining XP. 
And I don't think we're really going to be hurting for mining XP in the end uh, while going for 99 smithing. So this is just kind of what I've decided to do. I, have, I will say that I have yet to invest a ton into the customization here. I've only put a few levels into Artisan. Uh, and it may be something that I add some more to, considering the cost is pretty low. You know, 1360. It costs quite a bit to get to, to max, but some of these early levels are, are fairly cheap and fairly efficient to go ahead and go for. Uh, and also just another DG tip, I guess. Unlock doors, it gets you some bonus XP. Oh, well, I did not expect to get a prayer level there on the uh, on the prayer door, but there is 1600 total achieved up to, uh, yeah, just shy of 12 million total XP right now. Doing, yeah, doing quite a lot of grinding today, making good progress. I think we're going to be able to finish up both the Charming Imp and the the split dragon tooth necklace by the time you see the next clip. And here we are, 117,000 tokens, picking up the charming imp, and I have enough left over to pick up the split dragon tooth once I have 60 prayer. That's a pretty productive past couple of days. Well, I was incredibly excited to finally start working on Slayer on day 18, but I got blue dragons as my 11th task, so... I think I'm just going to wait until I get my agility up or at least get some better food. So I'm going to work on fishing. Um, yeah, I got to I gotta put this off a little bit longer. Oh, and I guess 68 fishing is a bit of a milestone as it gives access to the fishing guild and the deep sea fishing hub, which means that I can access the traveling merchant shop. Um, I may end up buying some things there, but uh, not really... Right now, it's not a huge priority, uh, given that I am a little strapped for cash. Oh, let's go, dude. Spider egg. Perfect, actually, because I can now breed them as of, like, 64 farming. So that's uh, that's one out of two eggs done for free, right? And this one is male. And it's virile. That's actually pretty good. Thank you, Adam. The first thing that is not just a rabbit or a cow. <laughs> or a chicken. Sorry. <laughs> and there's another mini milestone done 70 fishing picked up you see my target xp is at 775k because at that point i can just go quest the rest of the way to 72 which is my current goal that unlocks all of the different fish in minifos and will allow me to get a decent food source going oh and 72 is the requirement for crocodile tears the next uh quest in the minifos chain which will allow me to up my reputation gain daily Oh, and another valuable point about this is, you know how the level you need for Deadliest Catch, so if you don't know why this quest is important yet, well, three words, Ape Atoll Teeks, that's all that really needs to be said. Just came to check my player on farms to end off day 18, and check my trapper to find a Crimson Chin Champa. So that unlocks Crimson Skill Champa farming, if that's something I ever want to do. Uh, I mean, that is the second to best tier, and I know that they're pretty good at divination, so that's something I, I might end up uh, taking up later on if I'm, you know, not worried about my range level, have a good stock of chins for, for mech chins, but it's a pretty nice unlock. Well, I failed my first attempt at this game, but also nice. Oh, that's just incredible. Another, another spider. That, wow. Okay, female? Look, okay. <clears throat> I, I told you he's back with the, you know, 50k XP archaeology pet. But really, he's, he's back. The, the king of luck is here. Something I've been working on uh, starting yesterday on day 18 and, and moving into today, day 19, is agility. Um, I believe I started around level 55, uh, 54 maybe, uh, and I knew that I had a number of different quest requirements that all needed agility. You know, there's one in everybody's mind, I'm sure. The 75 for Plague's End and 76 for Ritual of the Majorat. Um, so I've kind of set myself a goal. I have about 120,000 XP left to go, um, but I'm, I'm kind of just running out of time here. And I'm not, it's not too critical that I go ahead and get that. However, I have earned all the way up to level 70 agility, which unlocks the shortcut for blue dragons. Uh, that's a pretty significant unlock for one, um, just 
very useful if I decide to train prayer through blue dragons like I think I might have done for a, a fair bit in the last speedrun attempt. Well, there we go. Uh, but also, once I decide to get back into Slayer, well, hey, blue dragon task will we'll knock that out a lot easier with that shortcut unlocked. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much all I've got for this video. This is where I'm going to be ending things off. I have a little bit of stuff going on in my personal life, so, you know, I wasn't able to quite get as much content as I have been churning out uh, in the past few videos, but, uh, you know, no need to worry. We're still flying at uh, light speed here. Still, uh, yeah, still making really good progress towards Max, and I hope everyone's looking forward to a ton of questing in the next video, because that is something I've been putting off, but anyway... Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one.